Hi guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how to easily customize your ZBrush UI. In the title is stated ZBrush 4R8, but this is just the version I am using. Creating a custom UI was possible with previous versions already. Ok, so let's start by resetting the UI to default and then we begin to customize it. Now you can see all the previous customizations are undone. And the first thing I do is to open preferences config and enable customize. To move the items, hold the alt and control keys down and for example this lightbox button here, you can just drag it into the viewport and it is removed from the tray. Or this dynamesh button here for example, I just hold control and alt and drag it into the top tray. The same I do for the mirror and weld can do this for every item you like. And also I want to get rid of these active points and total points here and drag it onto the viewport. Ok, that's very easy, right? But I think you also want to drop some brushes to the tray at the bottom. So the most intuitive way would be to press the B key, then hold Alt and Control and drag this brush into the tray, but unfortunately this is not the way to do it. So let me drag the brush palette into the tray on the left and now you are able by holding the Alt and Control keys down to move these brushes to the tray at the bottom. Now you can add all the brushes that you like and that you find there. But of course this palette doesn't contain all available brushes. But what you can do is, you just press the B key, then you select the brush you want to add, for example this IMM brush here, and then you can see that it is added to the brush's palette, and now you are able to move it to your tray. It's a bit like a workaround, but well, it works. Alright, now let's store the customizations, that's also pretty easy. Just open Preferences and select Store Config. Now this configuration is loaded every time you open ZBrush. But if you want to store for example many different configurations, you can just press Save UI and save your config with a particular name. You can always load this config again by pressing Load UI. Ok, the last thing that I want to show you is how to create custom menus. Therefore you just press custom UI, I drag this here to the left and in this palette you can find an option create new menu. We will do this and I will call this cool features. Ok, this is my new menu, you find it here at the top. I also drag it to the left tray and now let's add some items to it. The process is just the same as for any other palette or tray, just hold Alt and Ctrl down for the items that you want to add and drag them into the custom menu. Again I will add the Dynamesh button, because I need it quite often, and also the resolution of the Dynamesh. And you can add those orange separators as well, to add some spaces between the items and make the menu look more clearly arranged. Another feature to organize your menu is to use sub palettes. Just hover over the sub palette, hold the Alt and Control key down and drag it into your menu. And for this you can also add items, like for the palette of your main menu. And then you can double click and rename this sub palette. Ok, that's cool, now I have a menu, but I want to open this as a pop-up menu. So switch to config, then store the configuration, and after that I will disable customize. Then I hover over the title of my Cool Features menu, press Ctrl and Alt, and now I define 
a shortcut to open the pop-up menu and I'm pressing Ctrl P. Now when I press Ctrl P here in the viewport the pop-up menu is opened. These pop-up menus are my favorite customization and they can really fasten up your workflow. Alright guys, I hope you liked this tutorial and my channel and if you do then please don't forget to subscribe to not miss a future video. Thanks for watching this and come back soon to JNM.